Electoral Commission can make somebody a president. I'd like to state on this commission, on this occasion, and quote from Dr. Hassan Ariga that the EC can never, never, never make anybody a president. What the EC does is to declare who the voters choose as their president. And so it is a Ghanaian voter who votes a president into being. It is not the EC that makes a president or, or, or uh, that makes a president. We only declare the voters' choice. And that is what will happen come December 2024. It is who the voter wants to be president of this land who will be declared by the EC. On that note, we would like to thank all of you for your contributions. I think that we've had a very good deliberation. As we indicated, we'll provide the certified register to the parties in the first week of November or earlier. And please do not quote me. Do not misquote me. Do not misquote me. I said the first week of November. It is a seven-day week. And if we can do it earlier, we will. But before the end of the, before on or before the end of the first week of November, we will provide the certified voters register to the political parties. We would like to thank you very much. This is a collaboration. This country belongs to all of us. The EC does not have the intention to rig the election for anybody. Neither does it have the intention to disenfranchise anybody. Indeed, it is in our interest to ensure that everybody on the road goes to vote. It's to our credit. When you say that 79% turnout, it's to our credit. Because if you look at countries around us, in Nigeria, I think they had a 27% turnout. 27 very, very, very low. It doesn't meet international standards. So it is to our credit. So we like to disabuse the minds of Ghanaians that the EC has any intention of disenfranchising anybody. It is not true. We go out of our way to provide resources to enable our officers in the field to call and to chase those whose details, whose biometrics have been corrupted. We go out of our way. We provide resources for them to bring them on board to conclusion. And it is important that we, it is important to note that we will do everything in our power that anybody who registered will have the opportunity to do so. So it is a complete we, we, it is in our interest to ensure that every single person who registered is given the opportunity to vote. So we would like to thank you so much. This is a collaboration. And as you may be aware, we have the drives available. We will give it out before we leave this room to every political party and to also the independent candidates who will provide a copy of the drive. And please take your time to look at it. And if you have any issues, the forms, the template is there, you can address it. And let's be careful that we are not putting out falsehood that have the potential of causing fear and panic. It's very, very important. And I think that demonstration today has shown that we must be circumspect in the information that we put out. That's why we provided the template. If we really have the interest of the voter at heart, let us do a thorough job and let us present those details to the EC to fix it. It doesn't help for us to go to the public domain and just talk about it there, to muddy the waters, to cause tension and unnecessary suspicion where there's none. It is the most important thing is for us to provide the details of the discrepancies to the EC to enable us to fix it. So we would like to thank all of you and may God bless each and every one of you, bless our homeland Ghana and make it truly great and strong. Thank you.